first I would suggest might be less reinvention. Uh, so by working together with colleagues nationally, uh, we are creating content uh, that we need uh, in working with our clientele once rather than each of us creating it independently. I think in that process we're gaining, we're improving our content because it's, it's a collaboration of content rather than an individual's content. So less reinvention would be one. Uh, maybe kind of the old traditional, it's, uh, it's 24, 7, 365. Uh, it's, uh, uh, I think we all realize that people want information in their time frame at their convenience when they're ready for it and, and, and this technology allows us to, to, to deliver it uh, when, when it's when our clientele want it. Uh, the, the last I, I would say it, it's it's a it's a collaboration of all of our of our research across the country in the land grant system. It's a, it's a one place where you're going to find all of your content being having a research basis to it uh, and so I, I want to be in that environment rather than out there in the environment where so much of this stuff is is junk and so I, I think that that quality of the information the fact that it is research based may be the third critical factor you know, Prior to e-extension, we had been working in a, in a national team already, and, uh, so maybe that wasn't a direct result of extension, but e-extension. But uh, this working in a national at a national scale, uh, e-extension was just kind of the next logical step for us to take in that process. Uh, uh, we'd been cr creating curriculum prior to that time. But it, it became that uh, me method or that delivery model that uh, really met our needs. And it, it provided us an environment in which uh, we wanted to be in. Uh, so it, it, it kept our team working together nationally and uh, helping us to continue to bring our best ideas together. Uh, it's also brought us in some new members, uh, some new people interested in contributing their content. Uh, we've seen an interest on part of some of the other USDA agencies recognizing the importance of this. Uh, we've seen that same thing in, in terms of the US Environmental Protection Agency. Uh, understanding that this was an environment in which associating what they were doing and the, and the expertise they brought uh, with us uh, really made a lot of sense for them. So it's brought us new partners and uh, provided them an environment where they felt very good about the results or the impact that they would have. Well, I think we've already visited about the connection with other USDA agencies and with EPA. I think that's been our strongest uh, thing that we've seen. Uh, one of the things that has been very valuable to our faculty that have been involved is getting connected to the people that are very innovative in the use of web technologies, in the use of social media for pr promoting what we're doing. Uh, so we, we, had a, you know, we had the subject matter experts, but we didn't have the uh, technology, the web technology expertise. And so that collaboration with the e-extension resource people and, and with the faculty and other COPs that are doing innovative things has been a, just an outstanding benefit for us. Uh, E-Extension has grown to the point that, that there is no better place for professional development in, in, in using the web as a learning environment. Uh, and so that's where our faculty need to be if they're wanting professional development in this area. And, and E-Extension has been an outstanding resource for our community in practice. I think one uh, important step we have to take is getting, uh, continuing to grow the faculty in their involvement in the extension, uh, recognizing the importance, if, if their work is going to have impact, recognizing that this is the environment where they're going to most likely succeed. So I, I think we need to invest 
in growing our faculty engagement in e-extension. Um, I think we all need to get better in terms of social media and uh, in approaches such as peer-to-peer -peer learning. And I think the social media really offers a, a lot of opportunity there. We need to understand how we're going to use it, how we're going to use social media to really encourage that peer-to-peer -peer learning, as well as connecting uh, uh, our clientele uh, to some of the expertise within the land grant system. Um, so I, I just think that using social media and peer-to-peer -peer learning would be another area we need to get involved in. Uh, you know, I, I look at my son. Uh, who's 17 and enjoying the gaming environment right now and and how that you know how much impact that has on his age kids how are we going to produce products that will attract his attention 10 years from now when he's out uh, making a lot of his own decisions and, and uh, using the web environment so uh, how are we going to use things like gaming environment, like YouTube, uh, the things that the kids are involved in today so that we're successful, that our extension system is successful uh, 10 years from now.